The kids may be home from school, but they can still take a fun field trip, and we are going to take you to a Michigan dairy farm and learn about what goes on there. Our sponsor, United Dairy Industry of Michigan, is making it possible. So joining us from Valley Grove Dairy Farm in Hastings, Michigan, via Skype is Michigan dairy farmer Jolene Griffin. Jolene, Jolene, what's going on? Good morning. I love when people sing that song. Welcome to our farm this morning. Uh, we are glad to be there. Dairy cows, moo cow, are producing more milk now than back in 2007, yet they are eating less feed, using less land and water, and have a nearly 20% smaller carbon footprint. How is this happening? Yeah, so as dairy farmers, we are striving for continuous improvement, whether it's taking better care of our cows, helping to care for the environment and the land. My family lives on this land, so we want to make sure that we're taking care of it so that we can have it for the next generation. I have nieces and nephews who want to be dairy farmers. So by caring for our land, we're growing better feed so that way we can feed our cows so that they can produce more milk and better quality milk. Oh, what kind of technology are you using? Yeah, so one of the things that we do on our farm is helping to uh, preserve the water. So I think we have a photo of what we call our plate cooler. The milk comes out of our cows at 100 degrees, and we need to cool that down so that the milkman can come and pick it up every single day. So that plate cooler is a series of stainless steel pipes. The milk goes through one set of pipes, and then the water from, from, the, from our well goes through another set of pipes. And as they pass by each other, the water absorbs the heat from that milk and helps to cool it down. And then that water, we then feed to our cows. And I think we have a photo of one of our cows taking a really big drink, drink of water. Does that cow have a name? All of our cows have names. They also have, uh, if you can see her ear tag, they also have numbers so that we can keep track of every single thing that cow does. <laughs> Uh, thanks to Reddit, I, I see that cows uh, like to be uh, petted like, like dogs. Is that true? Oh my gosh, they do. I'm actually going to flip it around so that you can see some of my cows who have come here who are kind of watching me. Um, but yes, these girls are our pride and joy. They are why we get up every single morning. Um, they are curious. I've got some waiting right here for me to come over and give them some scratches behind their ears. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, I just read recently, and maybe you can confirm this, that forget about uh, like Gatorade or Powerade or any of those energy drinks, that milk is actually the best way to hydrate and give yourself an energy boost. Milk is great for, for rehydrating, especially after working out. Um, I work with some registered dietitians who would be able to give more of those specific details, but it does provide the, the energy boost that we need to rehydrate our muscles and our bodies after working out. Chocolate milk is a great option for, for working out and, and for a treat every day. So what are they eating there? It looks like grape nuts. What kind of feed is that? <laughs> so I'm going to bend down here. I'm just going to get right into their feed, and I'm going to show you. Let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit. So this is what we call a total mixed ration. So every single bite that that cow takes has all of the nutrients that she needs to make milk. So we like to call our cows uh, metabolic marvels because they eat things that we don't. They're great upcyclers. So I'm trying to look for right there is a corn kernel. If you can see by my thumb. Yep. Sorry, it's morning. My hands are shaking. <laughs> um, but as humans, we eat the corn. Uh, we eat the corn kernels. But cows are great in that they can eat the entire corn plant. So the stalk and the leaves and the corn cob and they can turn that into milk as well as we've got some alfalfa here um, which is hay and as humans we don't eat that but the cows do there's also vitamins and minerals so like many of us take a multivitamin each day our cows get vitamins oh, as that's well. cool. all right how can people support michigan dairy farmers yeah so that's that's a great question and as dairy farmers we love what we do we love caring for our cows we love caring for the land we love providing the milk so a great way to support us is to drink that milk eat yogurt try new recipes that are filled with dairy foods not only are you supporting us but you're also supporting you know growing kids by making sure that they've got those servings in their diet every single day Jolene, we appreciate it. Go in, get get inside, get warm. 
Thank you so much. Have a good rest of the day. You too. To learn more about Michigan dairy farmers and the nutritional recipe ideas, visit the website milkmeansmore.org.